today in Canada, the big fish are constantly hungry. And was with a big koi. And these are the medium sized koi. They're smaller in the middle pond. And it's amazing that the marsh marigold is still looking so fabulous. And it's what, the 17th, no, 16th. It's the 16th of July and it's still beautiful. And no signs of dying back. It's been a cooler spring, I believe. <clears throat> but what I wanted to show you is down here in the bottom pond, the lilies are starting to come. Oh yeah, my taro, I just watered it, so it's kind of hanging over funny. But it has a new leaf. I just love that black taro. It's so big. But the real thing I wanted to show you is down there, a rock fell and injured one of the fish. Don't know if you can see him. But he's got right there. He's got a little bit of fungus on him because he was injured when a rock maybe fell. It happened. I'm surprised he's still alive considering the extent of his injury. When fish get injured, they get fungus. And fungus is to fish what infection is to humans. So it can kill them. But he seems to still be alive and he's been eating. But I'm gonna fix him with liquid peat. Laguna liquid peat, very concentrated. A lot of people don't realize is that liquid peat, I'm gonna squeeze some in here, will darken the water for a short while. You can't overdose on liquid peat. Liquid peat is a natural fungicide. So by putting it into the bottom pond, it will help combat the fungus on the one fish. And it will also aid the growth of the plants. And it's all natural. Put some in the water here. It will darken the water, but I'm going to put the rest of the bottle into the bottom pond. It will give it a dark color, but once it circulates with the upper ponds, it will dissipate. Now, there is the injured fish, and he's swimming into the peat. The peat is totally harmless to the fish, and now it has darkened the water. Very black, but that's a good thing. It will clear in a few hours as it cycles through the rest of the pond system. It will lighten up. But I put all of it in the bottom pond so the fish that has the fungus will get a good treatment. Now if the fish are going to spawn, which they do all summer, the liquid peat is also a natural fungicide for the fish eggs. And fish eggs, typically half of them can die because of fungus. There's no other fish with any sign of sickness or injury, but it does happen. I think what happened is I was uh, working in the bottom pond and a rock slipped and it may have injured that one fish. But it's surprising that he's still alive and doing well. This is under the yellow flag in the middle pond. The water will start to darken up here too, first, because it's being pumped up. The whole pond will get the liquid peat as it circulates throughout the whole system, because it's all one pond really, even though the fish are locked in the top uh, or middle or bottom pond. The water is still one water because it circulates. Liquid peat is actually very good for the fish. 
And now that the caterpillar dung is gone, caterpillar dung is similar to liquid peat in nature. Um, it also darkens the water, and I believe it's a fungicide as well. The, uh, but the liquid peat is all I could get now that the caterpillar dung is gone. And that will fix that fish. I'm confident. Now you can see the bottom pond is quite dark. But we'll come back and we'll check that one fish in a few days and we'll see how he's doing. The black water is just a temporary effect from the liquid peat in the bottom pond. But it will enhance the growth of all the plants. And that is today in Canada.